Today we have Mr. Ravi Patel, Duncan Coots, Charles Hoskinson, David Esser, and Neville Freeman with us today. So without further ado, I would like to pass the mic over to you guys. I hope you're all doing well today. What do you have for the audience? Hi, Rick. Thank you. And thanks for thanks for having us on. What we wanted to talk about today was some coming upgrades that are happening. We're, we're moving from our Byron environment into our Shelley environment, which is which is kind of a huge milestone for us. We're very excited about it. The, the big thing that's happening is we're transitioning from being centralized into decentralized, which is a huge big deal for, for our platform, obviously, and, uh, and testing with staking pools and such. And so we wanted to come on today and describe how these upgrades and releases are gonna happen and how, especially today, we'd like to cover in detail how they're gonna affect exchanges so our exchange partners can know that and they can be prepared and this can go smoothly for them. That sounds good. And so primarily the Cardano 1.5 upgrade is affecting exchanges. Uh, does anyone have like a summary of what or what should we expect to see coming with 1.5 or what are the key features? Yeah, sure. So so the biggest thing that's in 1.5 is kind of behind the scenes to set the stage for the Shelly upgrade. And uh, it's providing kind of a, a technical meeting place for those two code bases so that things can function smoothly through the transition. We're also getting some, some front end updates, which we'll cover for you a little bit later. Um, uh, uh, it, it fixes to bugs and some some usability improvements on the on the wallet, um, but the big deal is to set the stage for the for the Shelly upgrade. Okay, so most of the new features are on the back end, so we're not going to see a lot on the user interface. Uh, however, it's still going to require an upgrade so that the users can inter interact with the exchanges. Uh, would you like to tell us a little more about what are, what are these back end features? Yeah, sure. So in order to have those codes transition, we have one consensus model happening in Byron, and then we're going to be transitioning to another one in Shelley, and we're going to be moving to, uh, uh, to a decentralized model. And so uh, uh, Duncan can get into more detail later, but those, those two code bases need to have a meeting place so that the handoff can be, can be smooth and that can function gracefully. And so uh, what this means to exchanges as far as how that upgrade process will go is that we've had available for a while um, the V1 APIs and, 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 and most of the exchanges have transitioned. There's a few remaining. And so all of the exchanges need to get themselves onto the V1 APIs. And this is something they don't have to wait until the 1.5 release. In fact, they shouldn't because there is a little bit of effort for them probably in transitioning to the V1 APIs. And so that's work that they want to have ongoing. And we wanted to get this out there in front of them so that they would know. Eventually, if they're not on the V1 APIs, if they're still on V0, well, then, then it's not going to work for them anymore. So we really want to get ahead of time in front of them and help them transition gracefully. And so, so, so at any time and now is would be a good time for them to be working on getting onto the V1 API. And then when the 1.5 release happens, that's really simple and easy. They'll just redeploy, re recompile and, and redeploy and, and then they're live. In terms of impact to users, users aren't going to be affected very much. Uh, this this is really kind of a set the stage behind the scenes. And so what would we, we would see happen then is that the BFT hard fork, which you can see on the on the diagram, we'll show you on the screen there. At that point, everybody would need to be both on the V1 API and the 1.5 release so that we would be transitioning into Ouroboros, Ouroboros BFT. So this is or or Ouroboros Byzantine fault tolerant model. And, uh, and Duncan will walk you through uh, the details of that in a bit. And then to carry that forward and just talk about what that means. So this upgrade is setting the stage for the next update. And you can see that on the slide there as well. You see Cardano Shelley beginning there. And so what's going to happen for a while is that we're going to have the Byron environment continuing to run as Shelley also spins up and both will run in parallel for a while. The reason for that is so that the transition can be smooth for everyone. We wouldn't like to just have a day you know, one day or one moment where there's this hard transition because that's going to be unpleasant for folks. So in terms of how that transition is going to happen, we're going to have uh, the Byron environment and the Cardano Shelley environment running in parallel for a while. And then you can see there, we haven't put a date on it because we want to choose a date when it's going to be graceful. There's going to be a, a point in there where we're at, 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 toward the end of, of Q1 going live onto a test net and then we're going to be testing with a with a with a task force of stake pool operators and doing a series of rolling releases 
where uh, we're trying all the things you'd expect, right? Turn off 49% of the nodes and make sure that behaves correctly. Try malicious transactions and see what happens. And so we'll be uh, running those tests, noting the results, making some fine tuning, uh, making some adjustment to parameters and, and, uh, and uh, 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 continuing to make those fixes. And so then when we feel comfortable with it, then it will go to mainnet. And so what you see there uh, is the Shelley hard fork happening. And at that point, the entire network will be decentralized, will be running on stake pools. And uh, it's just a huge moment for us at Cardano because that's a fully decentralized proof of stake uh, network. And so that's a, a, you know, a huge milestone for us. And, and we, we feel, you know, one for the industry as a whole. So we're really excited to get there. We're going to do it carefully and, and attempt to have it be graceful. But uh, you, what part of the reason we're having this podcast with you today is we want to talk to the to the users uh, stake group that's going to be affected the most in the near term, which is going to be the exchanges as they're making this transition into 1.5.